Oh, welcome back, everybody. This is uh, Peter Renna back with another dollar bin digging video for to accompany my article over on uh, comicbookinvest.com. So, uh, yeah, make sure you go over there and uh, check it out every week. Usually drop them on Thursdays and check out all the other content that we got there. Uh, again, my name is Peter Renna. I uh, write for comicbookinvest.com. I also do some videos for the uh, Tales from the Flipside uh, YouTube channel. So if you aren't subscribed there, you should go check that out and subscribe there as well because we got all kinds of fun stuff uh, going on there. New content dropping daily. And uh, I don't know. So with that, let's just dive right in. I don't have a lot of new books that I picked up this week because uh, I, I went to the store. I was focusing on uh, spending uh, money on a much larger purchase, which I might uh, drop in a pickups video, uh, maybe a little bit later or possibly tomorrow. But uh, dollar bin wise, I only grabbed a couple of books and I'm going to start off with those. And then the rest in my stack are books that I've grabbed for a dollar. Just, you know, not this week. Uh, just stuff that I uh, think you should probably keep an eye out for. Just oddball first appearance and what, what have you. So without further ado, I'm going to start it off with uh, the first couple of books, which are second prints. Again, I know I keep showing you second print booking books, third print books, and what and whatever, but uh, they, I don't know. I think they're worth it, especially for a book. If you can find them cheap, I think it's worth grabbing. You know, these later printings, especially when it has a uh, you know new covers, different art, even if it's interior art being used for the cover. I just think there's a potential there. Uh, maybe down the line, these books could uh, you know see interest. I mean, we're seeing it now for a lot of books, a lot of the Venom books and whatnot. But uh, right now, Guardians, the Donny Cates run. Uh, Issue two, the second print here, you can see it's pretty pretty cool Nova cover too. And uh, I don't know, this is the type of thing where, you know, if they announce Nova's going to be in a movie, all Nova books are going to get hot. So oddball things, especially a time in with Guardians, as they, you know, Kate's did in this series, could be something to keep an eye out for. But it's just, again, it's just a pretty cool cover. And for a dollar, I'm, I was in. So I grabbed that as well as issue three, which uh, features a pretty awesome Annihilus cover. I mean, Check that thing out. I mean, for a dollar, uh, I'm all, all day. I'm grabbing this thing. And uh, again, Annihilus is another one. I know he's been specced on as a possible villain coming up. Uh, so that uh, Fantastic Four annual number six with also Franklin Richards' first appearance. Uh, that book has been you know, shot up a couple of times with rumors and uh, hopeful appearances for Annihilus and maybe Annihilation or something like that. But again, this is just an, a pretty cool cover. And Annihilus doesn't have a lot of really good covers. Uh, I think there's a incentive variant on uh, one of the Annihilation series. Uh, this maybe is a one in twenty five. That one's not bad, but this is just again pretty awesome cover. So for a buck, I'm grabbing it and seeing what happens. Right now, you can find these online too. If you don't want to go digging in dollar bins, you can find these ones still pretty cheap. So I mean, go take a look. You hit up the usual spots online, and uh, they are there, uh, and they don't cost all that much. But again, you never know. Uh, moving on, I'm gonna have a couple of just art picks basically. And this is just, uh, I thought about this one for a couple of weeks ago uh, for Monty. Uh, actually, not a couple of weeks, I think it was two weeks ago when we had Sanford Green. And I was looking for a good Storm cover. I wanted the Turner. I ended up going to Barry Windsor Smith. But I also did consider this uh, Jason Scott Campbell. Uh, and this is one I found a few times for a dollar. It's, you know, this Worlds Apart miniseries. I, I see this all the time in the bins. Again, this is not a pricey book, but it is just a pretty cool, uh, you know, Storm image. So, eh, something worth grabbing. Uh... Also, going back to Monty, another uh, previous guest. This is uh, another uh, pretty cool cover. This is uh, Mike Mayhew with this uh, X-Men Origins, this Jean Grey. And you see, you know, the whole team there. And he also did the interiors on this. It's a uh, pretty nice art throughout this book. Uh, you know, I'll just show you a couple of, you know, little panels. It's all gorgeous art inside this thing. So, I don't know. Again, for a dollar, this is the type of thing that I, I like grabbing. Just, you know, cover alone. But, uh, again, the interior on this is pretty solid as well. So, keep an eye out for that. Just one second. <laughs> Got to lubricate the uh, instrument here. Uh, another uh, cheap art option. Now, everybody knows, you know, Frazetta art is not the easiest thing to come by. And even a lot of his older books are pretty expensive. But you can sometimes find these uh, reprints and what have you. Uh, this Vampirella 25th anniversary is a cheap way to get yourself a pretty awesome Frazetta cover. So this is also something you might want to keep an eye out for. I mean, this is a prestige format book too, and, uh, it's six bucks cover. So if you can find it for a dollar, that in itself is a deal, but you know, Frazetta for a dollar, you should go grab it. Just like the, uh, Death Dealer reprints, I believe they did for, uh, Image. Also things I sometimes find in dollar bins. It's just gorgeous art. So just get it for yourself. Get, just get it just having the collection because everybody needs a little bit of Frazetta, you know. In their boxes and again cheap way to get it right there uh moving on i've been trying to figure out 
I see Superman books in the, the bins all the time, and most of it's, you know, it's, it looks all the same. All those old Superboys and Superman, Supergirl uh, action, and it's there's just really not a lot of books that's uh, that are worth you know keeping an eye out for. There's not a lot of a uh, big, you know, big hits in those uh, those runs. But yeah, you know, there's a couple that you might just want to look out for, just for fun stuff. Even uh, this Superman 170 is a pretty awesome Ed McGinnis uh, crypto cover. Uh, I wanted to use this for uh, Monty again when we did dogs, but I couldn't find it, and uh, I just found it yeah today when I was looking for other books to uh, throw in my article here. And this is just a pretty cool cover. It's not the easiest to find, but again, when you go through those runs of Superman, you see it's like all right nonsense. Just keep an eye out for this. Like this should catch your eye as it caught mine. And uh, just look for those numbers. One seventy is one to just you know kind of keep an eye out for. I, I don't know. I think it sells for a few bucks. It's not a big uh, a big pricey book either, but. Again, I just think it's an awesome cover, and I think it's worth uh, grabbing. Uh, other little books to keep an eye out for when you're in that run, and going back to action, is uh, here's Action 806. This, I believe, is the uh, first time, um, I can't remember her name, uh, Steel. Uh, she becomes the new Steel. Uh, I can't think of her name for some reason. Uh, I'll have to drop it in uh, after the fact, but it, it's just a... Uh, yeah, it's a first appearance of sorts, so something you just keep an eye out for. It's also an interesting little uh, three-part series uh, with 806. Again, this is the first appearance of a, a new steel, 807, which has her uh, on the cover there. And then issue uh, 808, which finishes the Supergirl's uh, uh, storyline. I think it's a Pascal Ferry, I think was the artist on this. Pre pretty good art all, all throughout, and I do like these covers, so... Again, there's not a lot of books to look for when you hit action and you hit Superman. So those are just kind of things just keep your eye out for if you're uh, you're hitting those numbers. Uh, so moving on, I'm going to go and shift to Delato now. Uh, these are just Delato covers I you just don't think of. Like you think of those big, you know, the big boy books. But this is pretty decent art for uh, just grabbing this random Ghost Rider you know, series where it crosses over with World War Hulk. And it's just pretty cool art that you get there with Hulk going at it with Ghost Rider. So again, find it in the dollar dollar bin. I grab it. You know, here's 13, the issue after, which is a pretty awesome sword cover. I mean, look at that. It's just it's just sitting there with him walking away. It kind of reminds me of the uh, CBSI variant that we did for. Uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Now again, I'll post the image of, of that too. Uh, just yeah, again, I'm just going off the cuff here, so I, I'm not prepared, and I don't always have the best memory. Uh, I just know things, but I can't always articulate them as uh, as well as I should. So uh, that's just another book, uh, you know, to keep an eye out for. And now I think I'm going to go with these are the books that I'm probably going to cover in uh, tomorrow's article. Just things I think uh, I find a little more interesting than the rest of that batch, and I think I can write just a few little blurbs about them. Uh, first up is uh, Secret War, book two of five, the second print. Now, there, this was a you know miniseries that was pretty heavily printed. So the first print is the black with the foil cover, like a gold foil cover. And this is the first uh, appearance of uh, Daisy Johnson's Quake, who you know will be wrapping up Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but she has said that she would do more in the MCU if they wish to use her. And I think you know, they use the character in uh, things like Marvel Rising and some of the animated stuff. So she could be a character they decide to, you know, kind of sneak over into the much larger universe. So uh, to that end, I don't know, again, later printings, people are looking at these. So maybe the second print is the way to go with this white cover it is not as easy to find as the black cover. Because again, there are a lot of copies of it out there, the black cover. I've not found a lot of copies of that second print, but it's something to keep an eye out for. Because again, a lot of places they just throw overstock and the later printing stuff just gets thrown in uh, into those uh, dollar bins and cheap bins because... And I don't know people are looking for it. Uh, sticking with that later printing uh, theme, uh, we're going to go with Star Wars number one, which we all know when Marvel got a hold of Star Wars, they printed, I think, like a million copies, which we started, that's hitting numbers back to the old days in the 90s. So there are lots of covers, lots and lots of covers for Star Wars one. But, you know, all those printings, seventh printing is pretty low down the chain. So, yeah, it's just something to keep an eye out for. I think it sells for a few bucks. This purple cover is kind of cool. It's you know different from the rest. They're all I think there's color variants uh, as they went through these printings for the you know basically the A cover. But uh, again, there were a lot of store variants and a lot of other variants for this book. Again, I think it's like a million copies or more. 
So there's a lot, but seventh printing, I don't know, something might be uh, worth hanging on to because uh, for whatever reason, when books go this high in the print runs, and I mean, not print runs, printings, a lot of times that final printing is usually the lowest of the bunch. Because I mean, by the time you had a million to begin with, why did they need to go to seven printings? I don't know, but they did. So this is one you might just want to keep an eye out for. Uh, next up, I'm just going to kind of follow up on the uh, you know, recent news that the, I think Sony hired Olivia Wilde to do a female-centric, you know, Spidey movie. And then a lot of speculation it could be Spider Woman or some something along that you know vein. I know Madam Web has been uh, something that was said that that's something Sony might want to do. But another character that Sony said that they wanted to do, which kind of baffles me, why they would put this character on screen ahead of the huge library of Spider-Man characters they have, is Jackpot. And now I think Jackpot first appeared in that uh, Free Comic Book Day issue, and then I think in uh, ASM 646, 546. It, I'll, again, I'll pop the image in there, but uh, I think that was the first appearance in the uh, you know the Marvel Universe. But something I do see and I found in the dollar bins is this uh, miniseries, this Jackpot miniseries. So again, I don't know what this character really would bring you know, to make a movie wise or what they base it off of. So you know maybe. Getting this miniseries is a good play in case somehow they do make this jackpot and maybe they base it off this little three issue miniseries. I don't know. But in any case, I think if jackpot were to be a character they were to put you know, on, in the larger universe, that uh, these books, along with anything related to the character, would heat up because there's not a lot. There's not a lot of jackpot material out there. So uh, this is just something to keep an eye out for if I were you. And I have been. And, you know, again, dollar bins. I found these a couple of times. Just something to look for. Uh, and finally, uh, I'm going to switch over to DC, because I know I do a lot of Marvel books, but DC-wise, uh, just a character that kind of gets forgotten about, you know, these days is Jamie Ray as, as uh, you know, Blue Beetle, and uh, I think, you know, Infinite Crisis, you know, five, this is a, a good book to find if you can find it in, you know, in the bins, which, again, you can, I know a lot of people know uh, about this book and and whatnot, and there's two covers for it, there's, uh, you know, I think this is the Jim Lee cover, and then there's another cover uh, for it. But, uh, you know, this is a book just you know, worth grabbing. It's also a crossover event, so there are a lot of copies of it out there. So that's why I do find this series as a whole in the, in the dollar bins a lot. But number five is usually are picked out because, you know, a lot of people know about number five. But just as a friendly reminder that nobody's talking about DC right now, even though they got their fandom event coming up. Who knows what all the stuff they're going to announce. I know there's a lot of things leaking now, but uh, I don't know. Jamie Reyes is a character. It's one of their more youthful characters that they may try to pursue in, in the future in some form. So I don't know. I think it's worth the play, especially if you can find it for a dollar. I'm not saying go invest heavily in that book or anything, but if you find it for a buck, just grab it, stash it, and you know, see what happens. Uh, so that's all I got for you this week. I know it's not a lot, uh, but I think there's a couple of uh, interesting little books just to keep an eye out for. There's not a lot of first appearances that, you know, I could tell you about that you don't already know about. I mean, there's articles and sites and everything giving you all kinds of information on a daily basis, including ours, you know, comicbookinvest.com. So there's a, not a lot I can uncover for you. So I'm just trying to remind you of stuff you may have forgotten about and just going on the lower end of, hey, this if you're digging in the bin, you might as well look for this because while well, you're keeping an eye out for those huge scores, you know, that you could find at a dollar bin, like, oh, my God, I can't believe this variance in here. This is the little stuff that you can find, which, again... It's just good to have in a collection. It's also good if you need to flip and to help pay for your comic habit, as I do. Just something you can find for a dollar that you might be able to turn into 10 to 15 and just help you buy more comic books. You know, so comics should be fun. Again, I can't say it enough. So let's just, you know, stay safe out there. Have fun. And, uh, yeah, find some good books. So I will see you guys later.